<laughs> you got some guns, yeah. what about some knives? Yeah. You got the guns, got the gas to change your life. <laughs> the dark night, <laughs> the boy wonder. <laughs> I'm a force of nature, walking storm and thunder. You got them guns, what about them now? You got the goons, got the gas to change your life. The dark now, the boy wonder. I'm a force of nature, walking storms and thunder. Started as a petty crook till I lost the wife and baby. Your maybe was it my dad? Who cares? They call me crazy. Laughter in the air, <laughs> murder in my voice. <laughs> Why only have one origin? I prefer multiple choice. So fast, I prefer boys. Just look at his side kick. Baddest bitch in my doghouse is also my side chick. <laughs> Laughter in your ears, ha, 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 brings your fear, the last thing that you hear. They say my traps are weird like I'm some kind of trickster. Bow down to the prince of crimes, the only one cause you miss to change. It is how you live and fade, it is your fate. Purple suit and nasty flower, now I'm ready for a date. Everyone has a bad day, but my bad day was worse. Before a day, my luck was down, every day this town is cursed. What's worse, you cannot hide or survive the call you in. Me and my Harley Quinn, leave a corpse with a hearty grin. You got them guns, what about them now? You got them guns, got the guys to change your life. The dark nights, the boy wonder. I'm a force of nature, walking storms and thunder. You got them guns, what about them now? You got the goons, got the gas to change your life. It's a dark now, the boy wonder. I'm a force of nature, walking storms and thunder. This guy is so fried, he must not have met me yet. Mr. Shadow jumping, they'll never see it coming. This city is mine to hold down, even do his lead town. Last thing they'll ever see is my wings coming down. A couple wham bams, kicks and pals. Four were up, now four down. Gift rap for the PD. Commissioner wanna see me. A North and Turn Road, rocking bulletproof clothes. A mask and a cape, and took control of my fate. And Miss Pamela wanna date, but she could never see my face. Cause I like to play in the day And kick ass in the night Shout out my guy Alfred Taught me how to fight Now who you think they trying to call When they shining that light There's no hot and there's no running Bad guys everywhere on notice Screw up and you know what's coming Thrown in dumpsters, cuffed in alleys You won't even know what happened All disappear, you think it's magic And I'm mad You got them guns, what about them now? You got them guns, got the guys to change your life Life. The dark night, the boy wonder. I'm a force of nature, walking storms and thunder. You got them guns, what about them now? You got the goons, got the gas to change your life. It's a dark night, the boy wonder. I'm a force of nature, walking storms and thunder. Your vitals, vitals. primal break your spinal token. You lyrically snipe you. You know this ain't my final form. Smoking on that pressure. pressure. Damn this beat a savage. Yeah. If no mama got a dump of wagon, game is automatic. Trapping at the red bag, headband, favorite push to the face like the right hook. High as fuck, just need a push. Show up with the glow up. What's good, everyone? It's your boy, Token Drew. And we here with another edition of Packing on Pack. Series where I pack a bowl and unpack some cool shit. So as you can tell from the opening segment, we are back to madness, baby. This is part four of my five-part series where I am unboxing various jokers from various different types of media. 
comics, video games, movies, and television. Both cartoon form, or shall I say animated to be all bougie with it, as well as the depiction of the Joker, though not by name, but come on. Come on. Know what I mean? Talking about Jerome from Gotham. <laughs> With personally my favorite live action depiction of the Joker by what I mean by the Joker, I mean like the comic book character Joker. Ah, uh, Jerome. You know, that first episode when he revealed that, I guess spoilers or whatever, he revealed that it was him who killed his mom and he started doing that laugh and the way that his cheeks went up. I was like, yo, that's him, that's the Joker, holy shit. And this figure, the Laughter 2.0, is the whole reason why I decided to go after all the Jokers. Because I knew I can get all the other ones. Granted, I didn't realize how expensive the Jack Nicholson one was gonna be, but I knew I could get every other form of him. And when I saw this figure, I was like, hell yeah. I'm gonna do it. So let's get right into it. A little bit of housekeeping, you know. First things first. Yo, this channel, this channel ain't meant for kids. All right. So if you made it this far, that's your own damn fault. Get the hell up out of here. Secondly, I have a brand new rap album coming out. Lou Sogo, Collector's Edition. I'm really proud of this project. It's going to be the first full release. <laughs> and it's going to have both a digital and a special edition physical copy. And that's going to have a very limited run because I'm going to draw a whole bunch of shit for it. I hope. <laughs> and finally, you know what it is. We all been on YouTube for like 10 years now. Hit that little stupid red button. You know what I mean? I got some big ideas for this channel. But I do not have a big budget yet. So you can help support this channel simply by just hitting that subscribe button. I guess. I really don't understand how the stupid algorithm goes. I'm just a dude smoking and spending too much money on toys and shit. You need me to buy. I do not need you to sell. I guess what I want. Home and fuck a price tag. So without further ado. You know how I got these five categories. <laughs> Kicking things off with detail. All right, so for detail, we're going to start off with the Jared Leto Suicide Squad Joker. So, in the face, he looks pretty damn good. Not gonna lie, he looks, at least with his eyes closed anyway. His other head kind of has a weird look to it. But overall, his detail is okay. I do appreciate the fact that his gun is nice and shiny. You know, I appreciate that accessory detail. So for his detail, we're gonna go ahead and give him 16 points. And now, for the Cameron Monaghan, Jerome Joker. Man, I wish it looked a little bit better. I mean, still looks good. Don't get it wrong. Still looks good. I think his face suffers more than the Iron Studios one, but his clothing gives him a higher score than what I gave to the others. So for his detail, we're going to go ahead and give him 17 points. Next up is base. <laughs> so for the base. So I'm learning that Iron Studios, they seem to always do these stupid hexagon bases. The only time I seen one that stood out to me from this company was when I had the Shazam base that had the crack in the middle because the lightning bolt, you know. So this Joker does not need the base. However, that is a definite plus. But that being said, I'm only gonna give him seven points for this base. And now for the younger Joker from Gotham. 
You know, so for the positives, this bass is really cool. Only because the picture on the bass is the figure in different poses or whatever. At least his headshot. So it's pretty cool. And it says Toys Era on it. I dig it. But Jerome does not seem to fit on the bass very well. I'm not sure if it's my fault or if it's this damn thing. However, I spent a lot of time just getting him on the bastard. We're just gonna go ahead and give him 13 points for bass. Next up, Pose. <laughs> <laughs> So for their pose, the Iron Studios Joker, it's not a terrible pose. It's decent as far as dynamic is concerned, but it's not its not very exciting. You know what I'm saying? It's just, man, it's an all right pose. So for his pose, we're gonna go ahead and give him 13 points. Now, for the Gotham pose, Jerome. Normally I would give these guys a fresh 16 points just right off the bat because it's based off the user. However, with this one, a couple things are going for it, going against him. Number one, his clothes make it to where it's very hard to actually pose him. As well as his base because, like I said in the last entry, his base is hard to kind of figure out. So, it's just an unpleasant experience. Not to mention his clothes such as like his shirt and vest is kind of off to the left or maybe to the right, whatever. But that makes it to where it just looks uneven and I really can't fix it because these fucking, you know what I'm saying, these, these damn cloth characters, you know, I'm not a fan of them. And luckily I only have one more to put in the collection and I'm done with them, so I'm not, I don't like it. <laughs> But that being said, for his pose, we're gonna go ahead and just give him 14 points. Next up is paint. So, <laughs> For the paint, <laughs> the Gotham Joker, the Gotham Joker looks pretty damn good. Not flawless, but Toys Era did a pretty decent job with the paint. So <laughs> we're just gonna go ahead and give him 16 points. For the Suicide Squad Joker, <laughs> his paint is very safe. There's much, there's not much going on for color and for shading, to be honest with you. But there's really not many imperfections at all. <laughs> so, for his paint, we're going to give him 14 points. No smoke. No, they don't. <laughs> now, for the character accuracy. So, for character accuracy. Jared Leto, everyone's least favorite Joker. Let's be real. <laughs> I'm not a fan of the size, and this is always gonna be an issue with Iron Studios, but life isn't fair, is it? His sculpt is decent. His expression is all right, even though he doesn't really look like he's laughing. I mean, he kind of does, but at the same time, I don't know. So for his character accuracy, we're just gonna give him 11 points. 
I'm a looking motherfucking fool, looking stupid ass, looking like a grown ass midget bitch. Came <laughs> for the maniac, Cam Bam over here. For his character accuracy, it's pretty damn good. It's not, it's not flawless. You know, toys are, they're all right. They're no hot toys, that's for sure. And though I don't agree with buying figures twice, if Hot Toys did a version of this guy, I would totally get it. However, that's not the case. At least I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> so, for Cameron's accuracy, or shall I say, Jerome. <laughs> How do you get a name like Jerome? <laughs> His character accuracy is just going to be 14 points. Now, for the bonus points. That's right. I am in a full Joker costume just for this episode. <laughs> so, for the bonus points. We've been keeping him first this whole time, so let's talk about Jared Leto's Joker. <laughs> when I first took him out of the box, I was kind of meh about the size, as well as just overall, I was impressed by the golden gun, but other than that, you know, it just meh. So I'm just going to give him a plus two points. Overall, though, for what I spent for him, I feel like it was a good value. I spent like 50 bucks on him. Not bad to have this iteration instead of, instead of spending all the hundreds of dollars on a Hot Toys version of a Joker. I really didn't like that much. He's still pretty damn decent. So I'm going to give him a plus three points. As for his box, I like how colorful his box is. But, you know, there's no details about him on it. So he's only going to get another plus three points for that. Bringing his grand total up to 67 points. And that is a C plus. <laughs> and now for the Joker from Gotham, the maniac, who, yeah, I know was not officially Joker, but I mean, come on. He was Joker. You know what I'm saying? When I first took him out of the box, I thought it looked pretty good, all the accessories, everything, until I got to the face. And I'm sure I've said this many times on this channel before, and I'm going to keep on saying it, that I typically try not to get characters based off their real-life counterparts because then you have to deal with that whole how accurate they are to the actor. And, I mean, Hot Toys does a pretty damn good job at it. These guys, they did okay. Everything else is really cool on them. So I was really impressed. I give him a plus four points. Overall, however, I'm not as generous. You know, I spent a lot of time trying to pose him, trying to get him on his base. You know, his face itself is just a little bit disappointing. The way that his clothing came out with it being like uneven just kills the OCD side of me. And that being said, I'm just gonna say he's just an all right piece, which is just a plus two. And finally, Similar to the Suicide Squad art box. You know, his art box is cool. It does have a really cool picture of like his face, but on the back, there's nothing about the character. And so he only gets a plus three points. <laughs> Bringing his grand total up to 83 points. And that is a B plus. <laughs> Not bad. So I'm going to take some pictures of him. You know how we roll by now. Set him up in their final area, which is the Joker, I don't know, the Joker locker downstairs. I don't know, fucking whatever. <laughs> and then, next month, ending the year, we are going to finish off with the comedian himself. The 2019 <laughs> Joker. <laughs> <laughs> but until then, <laughs> just keep on laughing, baby. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> Alright, behind the scenes shit. Are you still here? Yo, uh Should I get the Red Joker outfit? To dress up like him? Or should I continue with this? I'm not gonna wear this thing again, man. This this was hot. We'll see. Magic mushrooms, incredible. I'm plant based, but when you hit this, you'll turn it to a vegetable. Dank rolled that cabbage patch. Police rolled up trying to take my sack. Legalize it, just take that crack. Fund up schools when you take that tag. But they ain't trying to hear those facts. Back in the day, we used to match. Dipping and dabbing with that wax. Humble as a mumble in the jungle. Acapulco gold sprinkles of the crumble. High get them a tumble. Flavors for the gumbo. Haters want to rumble. I am the great corn holio. All right, everybody, we are back. And here is their home. So I got the Gotham on the same shelf as this Heath Ledger and the Killing Joke Joker. I brought down my Diamond Select Dark Knight Rises Joker. He is terrible. I'm not going to lie. We have on this shelf the Cesar Romero. And the Jack Nicholson, and then up here is where I put the Jared Leto Joker with the other smaller ones. So yeah, this, this series is turning out pretty nicely. I'm glad to see that we're finally near the end. Next time on my Joker unboxing is going to be part five, the finale, where I'm going to unbox the Joaquin Phoenix Joker. But until then, I'm your boy Token Drew. Live up. Smoke out. Game on. I'm out this bitch. Thanks for watching. Peace. Real talk, I ain't from the block, but I got street smarts, I've seen some things. You ever seen a nigga get murdered? Have you ever seen a motherfucker hang? All these little niggas talking about gang bang, but the times have changed, I know you know this. Cop killing us, we gotta stay focused. Government does what the boss fuck the voters. But that's the big picture. Let's get down to street level. Try to put a wall over everyone's eyes, I be blind, still go daredevil. All these niggas think they so special, everybody claim they a trap boss. Every chick think they the baddest bitch, guess my real last here to piss you off. Everybody in the hood is slanging pounds, who the hell is buying with the fuck the business? You may think you're the baddest bra, but you just a story. Yo, nigga, I hit it. Throw what you make out the fire ganj. In the end, it's all just weed. Shorty, you make it. The bomb is head, but you ain't the first one to give it to me.